What's going on? Matt Savoka here from Osimo.com, bringing you my top 10 plays on FanDuel for this Saturday, NBA slate, May 7th, 2022. Two game slate here. We start in the East with a 1 1 tie, Boston and Milwaukee. A very entertaining series so far. Two blowout wins, one for each team. Marcus Smart, a game time decision. That's obviously affecting our projections for everyone else on Boston. Right now, Milwaukee is favored by just one and a half in the low lower total of the two contests tonight. Then we go out to Golden State. Memphis and Golden State has been an incredibly entertaining series. So far, the Grizzlies continue to hang tough and have actually outscored Golden State over the course of the series. No Iggy, no Peyton for Golden State, and yet they are still favored at home by seven and a half. Before we get into this one, though, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, too, so that you always know when we're going live. You guys know what to do. And if you get could give me Matt Savoka a follow on Twitter at Draftaholic. That's always much appreciated as well. Also, go ahead and follow my buddy Josh Engelman, who does these contenders videos all the time. Such a sharp dude at Josh Engelman on Twitter as well. We also want to thank our presenting sponsor, No House Advantage, giving you a different way to play DFS with player props contests at NHA No House Advantage. They're offering over 500 player props. And remember, it's peer to peer, so it levels the playing field beat your friends not the house let's get into the action here okay on the screen you see my 10 through 6 of my top plays on FanDuel we start with Jason Tatum who has a great projected stat line not just in the scoring category we think he contribute more as a rebounder than he has previously in the playoffs or in this series same with Draymond Green who has a 40% chance of being in the optimal lineup against a Memphis team that still isn't at full strength in the front court then we got Drew Holiday and Tyus Jones tied with a 41% chance of being in the optimal lineup that's a little bit less than and Jordan Poole at home, who we expect to jack up plenty of three-point shots. If you're looking for a prop bet tonight, Jordan Poole over 2.0. Three-pointers made is one I'm looking at, and we've got a solid median projection in the fantasy side of things. 34.2 is a median projection. He needs about 50, 51 points to feel really good in a GPP, but he's got a 6 to 10% chance of getting there even, a 15% chance of scoring 45 plus, and 43% chance of being in the optimal lineup. Almost gets him into the top five. Who makes it? Let's watch and find out. At number five, it's Boston's big man, Robert Williams. At 5,100, a very appealing salary. We're not expecting a gigantic performance. Just about 28.8 points is a median projection. And 28 minutes is about what we expect in terms of playing time here. Doesn't contribute a lot in the scoring category. Just 8.8 .8 points as a median projection. The rebounding assists, steals, and blocks. That's where you're going to get your goodness from Robert Williams. He's got a 90% chance of a steal. 2.0 blocks is a median projection projection and of course nearly nine rebounds again this is a salary saving option to help us get to those star players I think Robert Williams does a ton of the dirty work and there's that small chance that he's feeling a, a lot better to the point where we can see 30 plus minutes for him he's got a little bit of upside here Robert Williams comes in at number five at number four it's Memphis sharpshooter Desmond Bain at 5,800 a solid salary and an even better projection than a player like Williams 30.2 as a medium Medium projection and at that middling salary you just need 40 45 points and you feel incredible about him in a GPP not saying he's going to get there but at the same time we're seeing again a six to ten percent chance of Desmond Bain actually hitting that lofty 40 45 point goal for him 33 minutes we don't think playing time is going to be a problem tonight a 17 point medium projection and adding a lot in the rebounding category as well five rebounds as a medium projection and two assists as well Desmond Desmond Bain doing a little bit of everything and a 47% chance of being in the optimal lineup. Good enough for number four. At number three, this one's really interesting. Brandon Clark, the big fella for Memphis here. He obviously plays much more if Steven Adams is limited here. But right now, we believe Steven Adams is going to play. He returned to practice ahead of game three here. So I do think Steven Adams gets in this game. The question is, how effective is he and how much can he play? The 29.5 minute 
projection we have for Clark right now, I think is a little bullish if Adams is playing. So tamper your expectations a little bit. But Clark still is a solid per minute contributor here. But the 5,600 salary is probably too lofty if he's just playing off the bench. Average is just 19 minutes per game when the typical Memphis lineup is available. I don't think that's enough for him to be warranted at a 5,600 salary tonight. But if Adams is highly limited or doesn't play, I think it's worthwhile showing how effective Clark could be in a fantasy format. Right now, a 47% chance of being in the optimal lineup. Expect that to drop as Adams' availability becomes more and more clear, especially if it's towards the positive. If Adams is limited or out, though, this is important to note. Clark becomes one of the best value plays on the slate. Good enough for number three right now. Now, before I dig into my final play, my number one play on FanDuel for today, just want to remind you guys, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell too, so that you always know when we're going live, you guys know what to do. And if you could give me, Matt Savoka, a follow on Twitter, at Draftaholic, always much appreciated as well. Also want to give one more huge shout out to No House Advantage. NHA is offering the best place to play, player props contest. It's always peer to peer, so you can beat your friends, not the house. And remember, most importantly, you see that ad at the bottom of the screen, Use promo code AWESOMO to get up to a $25 first match deposit bonus. Get a little more credit in your account there so you can start beating your friends today. Download the app or go over to nohouseadvantage.com and get started today. Okay, guys, let's get into my number one play on FanDuel for this Saturday. At number one, it's Clay Thompson. The 6,200 salary is all you really need to know. He is the value sweet spot. I know the series stats have been very not Clay Thompson like. Just just 13.5 points per game, 1.5 rebounds, three assists during the series. It's been a little bit better if you look at the playoffs overall. 20 points, 3.1 rebounds, 1.9 assists, and 35 minutes. But most importantly, we think those minutes continue to ramp up here for Thompson. We've got him at 39.6 minutes as a medium projection, and that's boosting all of his numbers, especially in the scoring category. 23.5 points, something he's done 48% of the time when he plays 30 minutes or more, which is a number he'll smash tonight also contributing in other ways 4.5 rebounds 2.4 assists an 80 percent chance of a steal a 70 percent chance of a block and a solid 10 percent chance of scoring 45 or more fantasy points at 6200 and the ability to get hot at home from outside clay thompson it is in the optimal lineup 74 percent of the time and that is gonna do it for my top 10 plays on FanDuel for this Saturday two-game slate, May 7th, 2022. A really exciting two-gamer. I'm really excited for that game out west, especially. We will be back, and Josh will be back, with all the coverage you need leading up to tip-off tonight and every night. And of course, we've got these contenders videos leading you throughout the playoffs in the NBA. Until next time, I'm Matt Savoka from Osmo.com. We'll see you guys later.